This is the Temp Defender IT RTU from DPS Telecom. As you can see, it's only one rack unit high, not even a full rack unit wide, and only a few inches deep. Looking at the front panel, there's a serial port for initial configuration, some status LEDs so you know what's happening if you're in front of the unit. Also, if you're near with the unit, you can hear an audible alert and control volume of those audible alerts with this knob. And there's an ACK button to acknowledge alarms when they occur and you're in front of the RTU. Looking at the back panel now, you have a grounding lug, power input, which is available in a variety of different connectors. This is a barrel plug connector. Piano style alarm termination, so you don't need any tools. Just strip a piece of the alarm wire, insert it into this hole, and then click the connector down to lock the wire into place. And then for the second pin of that first discrete input, just insert your second wire into the hole, flip the next connector down, now that's locked in place. That's one discrete input wired in, and you have seven more inputs that you can use. To each of the four digital sensor inputs, you'll be able to insert a standard RJ11 cable. That clicks in. This cable can be up to several hundred feet long, depending on how many sensors you're going to have in this string. And you're connecting to D-wire sensor nodes. And as you'll see, the RJ11 simply goes into the import there. And this is auto-configuring, so you now have a temperature sensor that you can position wherever you need to at a critical location in your site. If you want to add additional sensors, you can always use the other ports and start up to four total daisy chains. But the real advantage comes in when you can simply connect to the out of your first sensor and then wire into one more sensor. And now you've developed a string. And you don't have to home run every one of the sensors. And the last item on the back panel is a 10100 base T LAN port. Even though it's a small RTU, the Temp Defender is housed in a durable, powder-coated aluminum chassis. To configure the Temp Defender, you'll just type its IP address into the address bar of your web browser. Then you'll log in with your username and password. This is the main screen for the Temp Defender web interface. You can start by clicking on the System Edit menu. And this is where you can define some basic properties about the Temp Defender, like its name, where it's located, a contact phone number for someone who's responsible for this. You can move on to Ethernet editing. This is where you set up various IP addresses and where it's going to reach a DNS server if needed. You go to Notifications. You'll set up outbound emails from the device when certain alarms occur. And moving on to Alarms. This is where you configure all the descriptions for all the different alarm inputs you have, whether dewire or discrete or both. Once setup is complete, you can also monitor the Temp Defender's alarm status from the same web interface using the blue monitor menu on the left. This is a list of all of the base alarms, and we can move on to the control relays. And there's one on this particular Temp Defender. You can use the OPR button to operate that control relay. In all cases, you'll receive a confirmation dialog just to make sure you really do want to operate the relay because it might be hundreds of miles away at a remote site. Clicking on Sensors on the left monitor menu will bring up the D-Wire sensor configuration. In this case, there are two D-Wire sensors set up, and they are currently monitoring about 68 degrees Fahrenheit on one and 65 degrees Fahrenheit on the other. This is the screen where you can set up your D-Wire sensors. They essentially auto-configure themselves, but you have the option to set some additional settings. If we click on Details, you'll see that you have four thresholds, where you can set a major under threshold, a minor under, a minor over, and a major over, so that major and minor alarms can occur when that sensor value reaches important critical values where you need to be notified. In the case of this temperature sensor, you can also set the temperature between Fahrenheit or Celsius display, depending on your region. For more information about the Temp Defender IT RTU from DPS Telecom, call 1-800-693-0351. You can also send email to sales at dpstele.com or send Max Smith a quick online message using the form at the bottom of this webpage. For DPS-TV, this is Andrew, signing off.